Hello and welcome to Lockdown Economy Nepal, a local edition of a social non-profit initiative to help small businesses and self-employed professionals overcome the challenges of the pandemic. In Nepal, it is being done in collaboration with NYEF Kathmandu Chapter, a membership-based non-profit organization dedicated to create outstanding entrepreneurs and alter contacts, a global think tank for sustainable development based in Amsterdam. My name is Susan Lal Manander, host of the interview series, and I'd like to welcome everyone who joined us for this session. Today, my guest is K.U. Shrestha, who is the Managing Director of Home Automation Nepal. Hello, K.U. Ji. How are you? Hello, Susan. I'm glad to be here. Welcome to the interview series, K.U. Ji. And today, we're going to talk about home automation, which is a relatively new industry in Nepal. We'll talk about what your organization went through during the lockdown, what problems you face, and what strategies you implemented to solve these problems. But before that, K.U. Ji, please introduce us to your organization. Yeah, I'm K.U. Shrestha once again. Uh, I'm the founder and the and the managing director of Home Automation Nepal. And we've been in business since 2009. And uh, uh, what we do is we provide customized uh, smart solutions to homes and offices. So basically what that means is that um, we help our clients uh, to take control of their uh, family and their loved ones from the smartphones. So, uh, you know, convenience is the big value addition here. Yeah, that's and it. <laughs> what are the major, yeah, what are the major services you provide uh, to your clients? Okay, so uh, it's a it's a mixed bag once again. Uh, it's uh, uh, a bundle of uh, security systems, uh, lighting control, uh, surveillance cameras. Uh, some are into home theaters, uh, curtain control, energy management. So whatever their requirement is, that it's very important that we understand what that is and uh, then uh, implement it accordingly. So it's a, it's a mixed bag of uh, different solutions. And Kirji, what is the size of your team? Okay, we're currently 13 uh, team members, including me. Perfect. So now let's talk about the lockdown itself. Uh, the lockdown was a very slow time in Nepal, a lot of restrictions uh, during the lockdown. And we talked about this a little bit yesterday as well. What kind of problems did you face during the lockdown? Okay, um, the problem with the, lo the lockdown was the lockdown itself. Uh, uh, the, like, you know, being able, being able not being able to go to work, not uh, meeting new prospects, not being able to continue uh, our uh, projects in hand was a big big uh, st uh, step back and um, yeah it, it was it was difficult to you know uh, get going like we were uh, in the in the past past in the past days and what kind of problems did you face uh, from an operation standpoint okay um, that was that was uh, you know cash flow i think I, that's a common denominator for all entrepreneurs all across the world and again like i said not being able to get in new projects not being able to complete uh, projects uh, and also having a big burden of uh, operation costs month in month out was the biggest issue so you know uh, it was a, it was a tough time for all of us and when you face these uh, problems what kind of strategies did you put in place to solve them uh, I think the best thing that I did was uh, was to speak to my other entrepreneur friends and find out what they were doing to you know ease things a bit. Um, so uh, uh, I think uh, one of the things that I remember clearly is uh, speaking to one of them and uh, deciding that you know adjusting the holidays, the the remaining paid holidays of our team members uh, uh, within the lockdown was one good idea. And also uh, another important thing was to be able to talk to my team members and, and be able to express the gravity of the situation. And, uh, you know, we, we're, all, we're on the same boat and uh, being able to, and also being able to receive the same feedback in terms of a positive attitude was very welcoming. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, so I, I think we, we uh, for, for the three months of the first lockdown, we uh, reduced the salary to 50%. Uh, 
which also did not re receive a lot of uh, backlash. I'm very glad for it. Um, uh, and uh, similar issues with uh, our house friends and um, other stuff. Yeah, so uh, the, the people in my community have been very supportive. And uh, earlier on, you said there were problems uh, completing uh, projects and maybe finding new prospects. So uh, what kind of uh, strategies did you put in place to stimulate your business during the lockdown? Okay, but there, there, there was not uh, much of strategy implementation, impl implementation that we could do because we couldn't uh, test it out in the market in terms of, uh, you know, uh, advertisements or uh, whatever that is. But I think uh, since we have a, have a limited number of clients that we serve every year, we we called them, we spoke to them, we got to know how they were doing, how, whether they, they were healthy or not. And um, coming back to the projects, we asked them if they were ready to entertain us uh, in their particular site locations, because many of them were insecure. So were some of us. So it was very important for to us to know what the clients were expecting and what they were not and it is important for us to be on the same page and um yesterday we also spoke about how strict the lockdown in nepal was we went through two lockdowns and you know there were time allotted for people to get their groceries and everything so because of the nature of the lockdown were there any strategies that you tried that did not work for you okay um, uh, uh, I wish I tried to, you know, uh, just uh, drive straight to work, uh, but that was not possible. Uh, so, the, uh, but what what we were successful uh, at was, uh, you know, we uh, all of us got together one fine day uh, somehow, and uh, we s uh, decided that you know we could create a false legit uh, kind of a documentation that could. Uh, you know, convince traffic police to let us pass, uh, you know, like saying we're from the construction field uh, and we had to get to work because the construction industry was uh, one of the uh, legit businesses that could operate uh, within the lockdown. Uh, so I think that was, that was fun as well. That was fun as well, trying new things to get to work. And uh, yesterday we also talk, talked about the situation of uh, SMEs in Nepal. So, what do you think was missing during the lockdown to help SMEs? Uh, the, the 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 biggest and the only thing was the support from the government. Um, I, I think uh, we were really really disappointed in terms of what we were expecting and what we got back. You know, I could go on and on, but. Uh, uh, the tourism industry has little support, uh, the cottage industry has some support, but what about other industries, what about other businessmen, what about retailers, what about service providers? Uh, there was no clarity in what the help there was and uh, there was also uh, no clarity in how we could uh, receive that help. I just got to know a few things just two days back, which was very surprising. Uh, and uh, all we knew was that we, we could apply for new loans at a small interest rate. And that was it, that was it. Just take more loans, take more loans, take more loans. Uh, and, you know, uh, compared to other countries in the West or you know, I don't know, Southeast Asia, there was absolutely zero support from the government. And yes, like you said, uh, communication was definitely a problem during the lockdown. Like you said, you know, there were few facilities, but then again, a lot of people did not know about them. And we had discussed a few of them in this interview series itself. But now let's talk about the situation after the lockdown. What kind of, uh, what is the performance of your organization now that the lockdown has been eased? Okay. So yeah, um, good news is that we've been able to you know, continue our projects because uh, we are uh, like equally tied up uh, like architects and interior designers with uh, new construction projects and since they, they started before the lockdown it was vital for them to finish as early as possible now because their bank loans and their other uh, other issues were pending because of the construction process and yeah thankfully we were able to complete uh, many of our pending projects and also you know continue uh, with uh, you know looking for uh, new prospects and you know educating our um, 
uh, our possible prospects. So yeah, things have been good after the lockdown. I think we've worked hard for it. And uh, how well are you gaining on the sales that you lost during the lockdown? Um, I, I'd say I'd say fifty fifty. Uh, it's not that bad either, um, because the, uh, the digital living or uh, smart home culture in Nepal has been growing, and uh, it continues to grow every year. So it's not very difficult to you know convince people these days, and uh, and and most of us uh, are now ready to meet more people with masks or without masks. So yeah, yeah it's 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 not so bad now yes people are more open to digital services this is and uh, they look for digital alternatives uh, instead of having being there physically they are prefer they prefer more uh, digital uh, service itself so now let's talk about the future of home automation nepal uh, it is still very uncertain of course there are talks of vaccine but uh, they have not entered nepal yet so uh, where do you think home automation nepal will be in the next three months uh, next three months is too early to, you know, uh, to plan anything big. But we just want to be able to, uh, you know, consistently perform uh, week in week out. Again, uh, it's the same circle of uh, completing projects and getting new projects. And uh, okay, just just to answer your uh, question in in a very uh, brief way is that we want to create more awareness about the benefits of uh, the technology, the peace of mind that we can provide to our clients um, you know the, the desires that we can fulfill so yeah uh, three months just keep working yes and uh Kiriji, this is my final question to you earlier on we talked about a few things that were missing in the lockdown and we also talked about how home automation itself is a new concept in nepal uh, so uh in this regard what are the three things in your business that you need help with uh, so I think one, two, three all fall under the same uh, point. There is again awareness um, because um, it's uh, difficult to sell something that has that has not been uh, uh, used to in this culture, and, and especially because Nepal is also a third world country, and um, you know selling this kind of uh, technology that already sounds hi-fi and you know uh, of something like uh, that you see in a Hollywood movie. So I think awareness uh, in terms of how affordable the technology t has become over the years, how easy and uh, it's easy to install and use. Uh, I think awareness is the only thing that we are very focused on. So, you know, uh, value marketing. And uh, what kind of assistance do you expect from the government and other local authorities? Um, I, I I don't know, man. It's 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 one thing to expect and the other to receive. But uh, general support for the SMEs is is something. Whether uh, it was because of lockdown or something else, uh, there, there was none received during the earthquake as well. So um, I think what I would expect is you know uh, to to deliver what they say and may make things easier for us entrepreneurs to receive those uh, subsidies or help whatever you call it, you may call it. all right great so uh thank you kg for uh, coming on this interview series and sharing your insights and before we sign off would you like to say anything to our audience um yeah but don't worry about the lockdown i mean sorry not lockdown, the the virus be be uh, more energetic by exercising more eat healthy and um, yeah let just enjoy life great thank you krg and thank you to everyone who joined us for the session if you have any questions for krg you can find his contact in the description or you can leave a comment in this video i invite you to like this video share it with your friends and follow our page the nyf Kathmandu chapter facebook page a recording of this video will be present in the all the contacts youtube channel so please subscribe to our channel there are playlists of videos on entrepreneurs and small business owners from different parts of the world i've shared their insights we'll have many more interviews like this in the upcoming weeks stay tuned and goodbye <laughs>